Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you're here today. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload and you don't miss any inspiration. Everyone, please consider giving me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this content as that really helps me out here on YouTube. Thank you once again for stopping by, you guys. Okay, so before we begin DIY number one, I'm just giving you a brief overview of what we're going to be making today. This kind pizza pan sign, this home is where your honeybee tag sign, a candle, a couple of glass jars, and a vase. I really hope you enjoy the video, and with all of that being said, let's begin DIY number one. For this DIY, I'm going to show you how I created this gorgeous beehive and sign. So I began with one of these little baskets from Dollar Tree. They're for a barbecue and I believe they come about three to a pack. I purchased this jute twine from Hobby Lobby as I found it cheaper. It was $3.99 for this huge roll. But Dollar Tree's rope is about the same size for a dollar. Um, it just depends on the quantity that you want, but I find this to be a better deal took this basket and cut off the bottom part. I left about three quarters at the top and just cut off the bottom. So really how big you want your beehive to be, you just cut off the excess. I then started taking my rope or twine and forming a circle in my fingers by using tiny dabs of hot glue and just rolling it around like a cinnamon roll. Once I get a fairly large roll, I am then going to hot glue that to the top of this basket like so. I'm then going to go around about one or two more times to just make sure that this covers the very top of our basket and once that is done I will glue it down and cut that excess. At this point I'm going to begin putting strands on one by one. So I'm going to take an end, glue it down to the side of my basket, go all the way around to the other side and glue that down. I'm going to do this almost all the way down my basket, but when I get toward the bottom, I'm actually going to go around the whole basket a few times, and that way I have some rope on the back to be a base to attach my sign to for stability. So I didn't want to go all the way around this whole thing and waste a bunch of my rope, um, so I just did a few loops, about four I believe, um, around the back, and that way I have a nice base to glue onto. And then I just finish this off with single strands like you see me doing here. Once I get to the bottom, I'll then take a pair of sharp scissors and trim off any excess um, of this basket that is hanging off of the end. It may be a little sharp, that is why I kind of sanded off my basket end, but just be careful of your fingers. And once you do this, your basket should be able to stand up with your sign. So now now I'm going to go ahead and take my Waverly ink chalk paint and a small brush and I'm going to create a circle on the front of my beehive. Once I get my circle outline done, I'll just go ahead and fill it in with a generous amount of this Waverly ink chalk paint. Once that is dry, I will take a small piece of this rope or twine and I will outline that circle for the entrance to our beehive. I'll just use hot glue to glue that down. Now now once I get my beehive attached to my sign, I will be going around the whole hive with a strand of rope just to kind of clean it up. But I purchased these bees at Hobby Lobby. They were very inexpensive. They're actually buttons, but they work perfect for this craft. I'm just going to glue a couple down on my beehive. Now I'm taking the sign from Dollar Tree left over from Christmas and I'm painting the back with my Waverly Plaster Chalk Paint to give it a base. Hobby Lobby has their scrapbooking items 50% off lots of the time. This scrapbooking kit was $5.99, 50% off. It was such an amazing deal. So I went ahead and painted the top part of my tag with Waverly Maze right over that plaster chalk paint. I then took a piece of scrapbook paper that I liked and cut it to size for the bottom part of this tag. I cut a small 
circle out of the middle of this paper and that way the rope on the back of my beehive can attach directly to the tag and not just to the paper. I smoothed the paper down using just a regular glue stick like a school glue stick and then I took my sander and sanded off the edges of the scrap of paper for a clean finish. I then applied a generous amount of hot glue to the rope on the back of this basket and also on the sides and I adhere this down to my tag sign making sure that the rope was right over that spot where there is no scrap of paper just so that it attaches nicely. I then took an extra length of this rope and went around my beehive to clean it up and give it a nice clean look. I then took this beautiful bee ribbon that I actually purchased at Sam's Club. It was about $5 for a huge roll. The Dollar Tree did have some bee themed ribbon last year if you were lucky enough to find that. Had a couple subscribers express interest in seeing some bows done in slow motion um, so you can get a really good look at it. So here's another bow that I like to do. This is for this sign, but I'm just taking two loops of ribbon and kind of folding them over separately gathering them together with an extra piece of ribbon at the bottom for tails. I gather in the middle tightly with a piece of twine and then I usually take that twine and loop it around the back and tie tightly again. The tighter you cinch your bow in the middle, the more you can really fluff it up. So I'm just kind of showing you this in slow motion and if you need to go back and look at it again, you can definitely do that, but I just trim off any excess on the back um, that there may be from when I folded those loops over. Then once that is done, I can go ahead and put my fingers inside the loops of my bow and give it a good fluffing. This is wired ribbon and I do prefer wired ribbon for my bows as it fluffs up nice and pretty. Then I like to take my bow tails and I like to fold it over and then holding it at the bottom or toward the bottom, I take my scissor and cut a triangle upward and that gives you a beautiful dovetail boutique finish. I like to do this to both of my tails. And then here you have this adorable little bow. So I'm going to take this particular bow and attach it to my tag sign and I did replace the original twine that was at the top so this can hang or it can free stand. Now I'm going to take some cute little loop eucalyptus oh my goodness <laughs> that I had in my stash and I'm going to put some on either side I use two sprigs on either side and some hot glue and just tuck it right underneath those bow loops and I just think that this makes this look so pretty and then I'm going to take another one of those little bees and glue it in the middle so here is the font that I used for my phrase Use this font for the words home is where your bee and then for honey I just went into where you can search images and I typed the word honey and it came up with this. So all together it's home is where your honey bee. I thought this was really adorable. I am just going to adhere this to my tag sign and here is what it looks like. Of course Dollar Tree does have letter stickers and ribbon transfers if you do not have a Cricut or you could freehand however you like but but I just think that this came out so adorable for a wall or a front door or even a vignette as you can hang or stand this sign whatever you like but you could customize this as well with whatever scrapbook paper you like so I hope that you thought that this was cute and now let's talk about today's challenge it is called Let's Be Creative, and I am hosting this along with my sweet friends Emily from Farm Charm Chic and Missy from the Crafty Cove. You know how much I love these ladies and think that they are so talented. And today our spotlight crafter, our guest host, is Kiki from Kiki's DIYs. She is so talented and amazing as well. All of these friends will be linked in my description box along with the playlist for this challenge. Let's jump right into DIY number two. So for this one, I'm going to show you this super cute, very easy pizza pan sign. So we take a pizza pan from Dollar Tree, flip it over, and give it a generous coat of Waverly plaster chalk paint. I'm then going to take a piece of scrap of paper I showed you from that kit from Hobby Lobby, 50% off, and just hold it up to my pizza pan. And using my nail, I just kind of trim around where I need to cut this to fit the bottom part of my pizza pan. You could just trace around it too, whatever works 
works for you. Then I'm going to use a craft glue stick on the back of my paper and also on the back of my painted pan and I will just gently press this down to make sure that it is adhered nicely. I am going to take my Dollar Tree sanding block and just kind of lightly sand around the edges of this paper to make sure everything fits nicely. Once that is done, I'm going to come back in with some of this thick jute or a rope that I purchased at Hobby Lobby, but Dollar Tree does sell rope that is almost exactly the same. And I am going to go around the lip of this pizza pan three times. So I go around each time and cut it off and begin a fresh piece. Then I'm going to take these cute little bees that's like a on a cardstock. It's like a die cut. It came in this kit with the scrapbook paper. Again, it was $2.99 for a bunch of goodies at Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to use hot glue to adhere these onto the paint right above where the edge of that scrapbook paper is. Then I just made a cute little bow with some Dollar Tree ribbon with one loop on either side and it is tied in the middle with some twine and I'm just dovetailing these ends by cutting a triangle upward. I do cover my pizza pan in Mod Podge very generously to protect it and I use my Cricut to print out the word kind but you could use Dollar Tree stickers if you would like and here's what it looks like so easy but so cute I also did tuck a couple of sprigs of eucalyptus on either side of my bow I hope that you like this okay DIY number three is so quick and easy don't blink you might miss it but if you want a cute little accent piece or you don't have a lot of time to craft but still want something grab a Dollar Tree tall pillar candle this ribbon is from Dollar Tree as well they had it out last year but hopefully they have it out this year as well I took a piece and went around the top and the bottom just carrying it down with some hot glue once I'm done with that I'm going to take these stickers that came in this kit from Hobby Lobby and I love them because the edges of them are clear so you can't even really tell once you put it on this glass candle so I'm just choosing a couple that I think are really cute and adding it to this glass candle and voila a very cute easy little design a little um extra piece extra decor piece for a vignette or a display here it is okay DIY number four I'm going to show you this gorgeous beehive vase. I absolutely love this one. It may be my favorite. So I'm taking this vase from Dollar Tree. It has this black chalk um, oval on the front of it. And I'm taking some more of this jute rope. And I'm going to cover this vase in it. So I began by gluing it down and going all the way around up until I get to the point where my black oval begins. At that point, I'm going to go straight by strand so I cut a piece off and glue it down to the edge of that oval go around and glue it down again I'm going to continue this until I get to the top of that oval so that I don't cover it up once I get to the top of my oval I will then begin going all the way around the vase again until it is nicely covered and my rope goes all the way to the top so here I am just trimming off once I get to that oval and gluing it down and don't worry we will cover up all these jagged edges with an extra couple pieces of rope to give it a nice finish so here I am at the top just kind of gluing it down tucking that tiny little piece toward the inside so it's not sticking out all willy-nilly and now here I come with an extra piece of rope just to kind of clean up that little black oval um, entry hole to our beehive I'm actually going to use two pieces of rope so I'm using one kind of on the outer part of the beehive hole and then I'll come around with another one on the inner part when I get to where my little piece attaches I will glue it down trim off the excess here is my second layer following the same process of just gluing it down and I just think that this is so cute and so easy you guys so for all of these projects today I just used that one group of rope that I showed you from Hobby Lobby for $3.99 and just a tiny bit of a second one so this is a lot of rope that I used and so I do advise 
buying rope in bulk if you can. So here I'm squirting some hot glue onto some wax or parchment paper, allowing it to dry and then painting it with my Waverly Amaze chalk paint. Then I'm gonna use hot glue to attach the hot glue pieces to the front of my beehive. And I think that this is so cute and looks like drips of honey. I did put two layers of Waverly Amaze chalk paint. Now I'm gonna take another little bee button from a pack I got from Hobby Lobby and attach it to the top of my hive. I then popped in some cute little florals I had in my stash, and I just think this is so adorable, you guys. It would be so cute if you made several of these in different heights or even put them on a candlestick. Okay, a DIY number five. Another cute and easy one using some more of these stickers from that scrapbooking pack from Hobby Lobby. I found these adorable little glass containers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap some thin twine around the neck of that bottle and also around the bottom of that bottle about three or four times just gluing it down, wrapping it around gluing where I want it to end and cutting off that excess. So I do both of the bottles in the same way. And then I just take that little pack of stickers. Again, I absolutely love these stickers because the outer edges are clear. So it looks so nice on glass. So for this one, I'm gonna take this little beehive that says be yourself. I think it's so adorable. And I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere that to the front. And then for the other one, I'll put a couple different ones on there. And here's what they look like again. And just a cute little thing to pop into your vignette. I put some flowers and a bee on the other one. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to give you a last minute look at all of the things that we made today. Hi guys, I really hope that you enjoyed today's DIYs. I hope that you found some inspiration in them. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment box down below. Also, if you would like to subscribe to me on Instagram, you will find that link in my description box. Thanks once again, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. If you do, please hit that bell button so you are notified every single time that I upload. Stay safe, friends. So here's a look at everything together. Our tag sign, home is where your honey bee. Our pizza pan sign with the word kind. Our candle and our glass jars, as well as our vase, our beehive vase. So once again, I hope you enjoyed everything and I hope that you stay safe. I will see you very soon, friends. You can subscribe to my mom's channel and thank you for watching today's craft and stay safe.